What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Pastor Gaines. I've been a streamer and content creator for the past three years. And one of the tools that I use constantly for streaming is the Stream Deck. So I'm gonna take you through some of the buttons that have really helped shape my streaming experience. And I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. So the first few buttons we're gonna start out with are pretty mediocre buttons when it comes down to it. Just basic stuff that's gonna help enhance your experience a little bit when it comes to streaming. And the first button that I'm gonna talk about, and it's a two for one, is your Twitter live and Twitter not live notifications. You can switch your live name and your not live name on Twitter with the Stream Deck by one push of a button. It's super simple. All you have to do is connect your Twitter to the Stream Deck. You then put in what your live name is gonna be and what your not live name is gonna be, and you can switch back and forth after you save them. This helps make it so that your Twitter feed is not a bunch of going live tweets and it doesn't get all jumbled up with the traffic that goes on with your other Twitter feed as well. The next button I have that I think all people should have on their Stream Deck is a boot up button. And what I mean by this is this is a multi-function button to where you can put multiple functions in this one singular button that will do multiple things on your PC. So for example, my button that I push that boots everything up, starts up Spotify, mix it up, stream avatars, and my streaming software all at the same time so I don't have to go through and do it individually. It's a huge time saver and once again it's just the press of one button which is hugely helpful. Also guys if you like that my Stream Deck background is a moving GIF I do have a video on my YouTube channel already about how to do that. Go check it out. I'll leave it down in the description below so it's a little bit easier for you to find. It's a little bit time consuming but as you can see definitely worth it rather than just the stagnant photo on the front of your Stream Deck. If this video has helped you in any way shape or form make sure to leave a like, follow, comment, hit that subscribe button for me. It helps the channel out a ton and we're gonna go through some more of these buttons here but I appreciate you guys support let's get back to it so the next command I want to show you on your stream deck that is also a huge time saver is the clip it command all you have to do is add the button clip it to your stream deck and it's going to take the last 30 seconds of what you just did on stream and clip it automatically and save it for you this is also a time saver if you notice everything about the stream deck is a massive time saver and it eliminates the hey chat can you clip that entire conversation that doesn't need to take place this has been great for me i use it all the time and i highly recommend it so the last two that I'm going to show you all are dealt with the Twitch Tools Bar Raider extension on the Stream Deck. All you have to do is click Add and then you're going to search Twitch Tools Bar Raider and you're going to add the shout out command and you're also going to add the raid command. What this is gonna allow you to do with the raid command is you're going to be able to hit a button and it's gonna come up with all of the streamers that are currently live that you follow and you can choose which one of them to raid with just a press of the button. This is absolutely a massive time saver. It looks super professional to the people who are watching you and it has changed the way that I do raids in my stream. The next Twitch Tools extension that you're going to want to use is, like I said before, the shoutout command. This works very similar to the raid command. You press the shoutout button that you've installed on your stream deck, and this is going to show everybody in your current channel who you are able to shout out. It is phenomenal. It only works if you are live, so keep that in mind. But it beats having to do, hey, so-and-so, can you shout out X, Y, or Z? when you can just do it all by yourself with the press of a button. It looks super professional. It has really changed a lot of how I do things and how I conduct things on my channel when it comes to shout outs. All right guys, and that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any Stream Deck buttons in your Stream Deck that you think I should know about, please leave them down in the comment section below. I would love to implement them into my Stream Deck. I'm always looking for new tips and tricks when it comes to streaming and how to make things more streamlined. So if you wanna to continue to see more content from me, make sure to like, follow, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can know when I'm live. I also stream over on Twitch Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. We do a ton of Twitch tips. We do a ton of branding talk, TikTok growth, Twitch growth, and we play a lot of Souls games. So if that interests you, make sure to check me out. And until next time, guys, I'll see you then.